All right, welcome back to Vice 944. Journalist Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Mm -hmm. A feeling that author, award-winning author, uh, Rilla asked you, Rilla asked you this morning, is they probably felt a couple of times in your illustrious career, huh? Droplets of blood. Yeah, I, I write a lot about blood, so I think maybe. Probably so. Yeah. Also, Cindy Halsey joining us this morning. Book Smart, Magic City. So appreciate you guys coming in today. Thank you. You have got a brand new book, and this is your first time that you've done nonfiction, right? That's right. Okay. And here it is right here, Most American. Kind of touches on everything that you've, I guess, everything Oklahoma, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's about Oklahoma. It's about my engagement with Oklahoma as a, as a citizen of Oklahoma, as an author, as a person who grew up here and was shaped by it. Fifth generation. Fifth generation. And um, also, it, you know, it, it's the, the subtitle is Notes from a Wounded Place. And so I deal with a, a lot of what I consider Oklahoma's wounds and how mm -hmm. coming out of this place has helped shape my work and shape my engagement with the world. Mm -hmm. So the things that I dealt with in my fiction for years uh, as a novelist, I now have articulated um, mm -hmm. in nonfiction. So they're essays, but they're, they're really creative nonfiction because they sort of, you know, traverse the line between essay and memoir. You know, it's one of those things, too, when you started talking about it, this, this, some of the things you've written about, and I started to think all the things that Oklahoma as a state has gone through, you know, the Dust Bowl and Depression and then race riots mm -hmm. and, and those are the just, subjects. Man, yeah. yeah, those are, have been the subjects of my novels. So a novel about the Tulsa race riot, Fire and Beulah, a novel about the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl, Harp Song, uh, a, a novel about the westward sel settlement of Oklahoma, mm -hmm. uh, the Mercy Seat. And so those... All of those things I think about in an abstract way as well, in terms of the ideas of those things. So the fiction mm -hmm. explores those elements in story and character, and the nonfiction says, how do we get here? What is yeah. it that has shaped us as Oklahomans? And you'll be talking to a lot of readers about that coming up as of July 10th, is that right? Yes, uh, Monday night Rilla will be at the Central Library and um, we love partnering with the library for our events. Booksmart Tulsa is sponsoring this with the library and of course Magic City Books will be open in November in the Brady Arts District. So uh, Rilla is one of our favorite writers and we're very pleased to bring her to the library. You always like it when someone says favorite writer, don't you? I do. Uh, I do. In this, <laughs> well, case, I, I, in this case, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I also, I love, I love what a literary town uh, Tulsa is mm -hmm. and how they support writers and how they come out for author events. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. And so what, what Magic City Books and what Booksmart Tulsa do in combination with the library and with other uh, organizations is amazing mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, the forum that it gives for people who love to read books, who love to talk with authors, mm -hmm. who love to engage with the ideas that are in books. Start saying that you lived at one time in what people would call one of the more literary towns in our country, and that's New York, but you came back here to live here, choose to live here. Mm -hmm. Is it because of that very reason that you... Well, Oklahoma is really the source. It's the source of everything that I uh, uh, write and have mm -hmm. written so far. So far. So, but uh, it, it's beyond that. It's, a big, it's home. I, I, I love the landscape, I love the people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't always love everything about us. Uh, yeah, you know, know there's, like about. with family, you know, there's, <laughs> a, there's the good and the bad and the ugly and the mm -hmm. um, not so pleasant. But for the most part, it's, it, it, it's, it's just so deep in my, my soul and my mm -hmm. being that I, when, I, when things change, I mean, I've lived in New York 35 years. Uh, but Oklahoma always pulled me home, and so mm -hmm. when I got the opportunity to come down, I teach at the University of Oklahoma, I teach creative writing there. Uh, when I got that opportunity to come relocate here and, you know, be, be a full-time citizen in Oklahoma again, I took it. Now, Oklahoma is okay, you know. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's a little Very more than okay. okay. Exactly. Yeah, it's a little more than yeah. okay. <laughs> well, appreciate you both coming in today, and again, July 10th, Central Library, yeah, July 10th, which is Monday, mm -hmm. 7 to 8.30. All right. Excellent. We're Thank have you fun. both. Yeah. Yes. Thank you both for coming. I can tell you guys are going to have a good time. <laughs> Getting a personal with the author uh, Rilla Eskew, Monday, 7 8 30, Central Library, 4th in Denver, 918 549 7323. Go to uh, TulsaLibrary.org and find out much.